Hey everyone, and thank you for joining me for Sketchbook Sunday, episode 50. As usual, I'm working in my moleskin sketchbook. This time, however, I'm doing another gouache practice experiment, unlike oils, which I've been doing a lot on this series. So for anyone who is new to my channel, definitely check out my water series oil painting time lapses because they're so much better than what I'm going to create here. I'm very new to gouache. I literally just tried it out for the first time in my last video and I still have a lot to learn and a lot of practice to do but I did want to challenge myself here and paint water with a medium that I'm inexperienced with so if you want to see like much better work watch my oil painting time lapses because yeah they're so much better also for once in my life I do not prime the pages with gesso because I'm actually using gouache and it doesn't need gesso to be primed in the surface unlike oils so what a change. <laughs> Today I wanted to talk about how I earn a living as an artist. This is a question that comes up a lot and I have discussed this on my channel before, but I don't expect everyone to look for my archaic fossil videos when there are like 300 videos on my channel. So I'm just going to make an updated video just for this topic alone about my various income sources. So I have three main income sources and a fourth and fifth one that those are way more occasional and not like my main so I will break this all down another thing is that these three main income sources well all of them really they all fluctuate that's kind of the nature of being freelance is the nature of being self-employed you don't really have a direct salary or a guarantee like you're not guaranteed to earn the same exact amount of money each month nowadays there's definitely a range that I know I'm going to fall into like I know each month I'm gonna have at the very least this amount of money that I can count on over time you know that could go up or down but beyond that my income is different every single month whatever goes into my bank account is not going to be the same as the last month so let's get into all of that one of those sources of income is my youtube channel i'm a youtube partner which means advertisements play before my videos and if those videos are a lot longer sometimes there's multiple ad breaks during my videos like my tutorials for the most part um, because those are much longer and i put a lot of work into them so i'm like okay i guess i could throw in like an extra ad or two <laughs> youtube is the main recipient of that advertiser money so i only get like 40 percent of the money that plays uh, of the money that YouTube receives for the ads that play on my videos. I think that's the numbers. Like we either get 50 to 40% of that. So my AdSense revenue is just one source and you'd be surprised it's really not that much. Like YouTubers don't actually make a lot of money <laughs> unless you've got like multiple millions of views per video. Other than that, most of us are really not banking. <laughs> so yeah. Another source is my art store. I run my art store by myself. I sell original paintings and prints on there. I do all of the packaging, the shipping, updates and whatnot. That's pretty much all very straightforward. I've just had an art store for quite a while now. My third income source is my Patreon page. Patreon is where supporters can pay a monthly fee to their favorite creators and on there I personally have three tiers so you can pay a monthly price of either one dollar five dollar or ten dollars each tier has a unique set of extra content that I upload on there and being subscribed to one also gives you access to all the previous rewards for that level that I've posted throughout the years. For example, my $1 pledgers get a monthly reference photo that they can use royalty free for their art. They get access to my exclusive Patreon feed, which is kind of like a blog where I post works in progress and updates, polls. Um, I post works in progress way before I post them to social media and a Q&A podcast. My $5 pledgers get access to longer videos like more in-depth color color mixing and painting demonstrations. I show how I do everything basically. And currently I have over 40 hours of exclusive video content on there. They also get even more references and access to all the previous rewards for the $1 pledge. My $10 pledgers get access to all the rewards from the lower tiers, along with exclusive process collages and a monthly thank you postcard from me printed with a different painting of mine every month. So those are the three main ones that are the bulk of my income. Um, each kind of fluctuates every month. It just depends. You know, some months I paint more, some months I have more tutorials, and a lot of people come to my Patreon page from those videos. Um, sometimes I have more originals on sale, so my art store revenue will be higher, 
or if I have a new print release or like a discount code. So there's different things that affect each source, obviously. So yeah, it's not going to be the same, but I do live off of it miraculously. So my fourth source of income, which I don't really rely on heavily, thankfully, because I don't want to rely on it. And that is company sponsorships. So my last sponsorship was posted in April. And I worked with HBO on my Unsullied Shield for the release of Game of Thrones. That was probably one of the coolest commissions I've ever had the chance to do. I've also worked with Strathmore almost a year before that, which is an art supply company. They make various papers for different mediums. I'm also very, very picky with the sponsorships I take on, and I get a lot of inquiries. Every single day, there is something in my inbox, and most of the time, it has nothing to do with my art. They just see, oh, this person has followers. Let's have her promote our watches. Like, I don't care. First of all, I don't care about watches. I don't really wear them ever, so why would I promote them? Or a lot of times, I'll just get a generic email that's like, hey, we love your content. We love what you're doing. Here at Blah 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 Fashion, we want to send you clothes. And it's like, what? I, I'm not a fashion channel. I'm not a beauty channel. Like, what are you doing? Anyway, bad marketing team on their end. <laughs> but I don't ever want to promote a product to you guys that I don't personally use myself nor am interested in. So for that reason, it is very rare for me to accept money in exchange for promoting something. However, on the occasion, sponsorships are something that I do. If it's a company that I trust, if they produce a product that I like and will actually use, then yeah, I'll promote them. But again, it's very rare. And then my last source is commissions. So I actually haven't had commissions open for a very long time because I've just been so incredibly busy. But that is another source that occasionally earns me extra money. And that's basically all of it. And all of those combined sources allow me to pay bills, uh, my living expenses, car insurance, business expenses, feed my pets, feed myself, basically just to live off what I love and put more time into that. And none of that would be possible without you. Without literally everyone who's watched my videos, I obviously wouldn't be a YouTube partner. Um, without those of you who purchase art from my art store or support me on my Patreon, I wouldn't have a stable income. So I really am just eternally grateful to my amazing supporters because they are the reason that I am able to do what I do. Like every dollar counts. Every dollar is like a vote for yes, keep doing that. <laughs> so you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. And I promise you I work crazy hours to manage everything and keep producing work to post for you. Um, but I love it and I wouldn't change it for the world. Like I, I love it so much and I'm so incredibly grateful. So thank you. But I hope this video was helpful in breaking down my various income sources and how I survive as a self-employed artist. I will say this is a relatively new paradigm that us artists are in right now with social media. Um, this is not how artists used to make their money. Things are very different with the internet coming along and changing the art world. But it's such an exciting time to be alive and to be an artist and I'm really interested in seeing how it evolves further and I will have to adapt and grow with those changes. Please let me know if you have any questions you'd like me to answer in my next Sketchbook Sunday, and I'm wishing you all a beautiful and inspiring day. Bye!